I'm so glad to, well, I can't see you guys, but, but, but we're together again a little bit. And um, thank you for waiting it out with me. And, oh gosh, I got some of the sweetest messages from you guys. And I thank you for thinking of me, you guys. Oh, man. It's going to make me all soggy. So, um, it's a soggy day. And we're supposed to be having this storm of the century. Um, I've been making, well, this summer has been a lot of harvesting and plant, well, first planting, then harvesting, and then, you know, like making cider and making jam and freezing the corn and freezing the peas. And then my son-in-law was in a really bad car accident, so that was um, traumatic, and Jessica had to go back. And, well, she was actually on her way back, but um, anyway, he's doing okay. Thank you for your concern. Well, Mom's here, and um, she's really slow. She's in a walker now. I probably won't take her to see Dixie because it's just too hard to get her in the car. I mean, I brought her over here for dinner last night, and it took an hour to get her in the car. But anyway, she's happy to be back on her farm. So um, the fun part has been I'm back to making soap. And so that's mostly why I'm here because I got to show you guys your, what you can get for your friends and family for Christmas and, and hostess gifts and things because I've been having fun. So, of course, this is brought to you by JBS Farms. I kept getting requests at the farmer's market for lavender. So I had to make, this isn't lavender essential oil, but it's, it's oh gosh, it smells exactly like, like my lavender that grew out there. Uh, it's a sharp, not too sharp, but it's, it's you know, that kind of crispy lavender bitey scent. Um, I don't like it when it just, you know, kind of makes your eyes sting, but no. And it's a swirl of white and purple because, you know, lavender. And it's a massage bar. Of course, you probably can't see because of the, plastic over the top but I have to uh, wrap every bar because it's glycerin based and it, otherwise it'll sweat and besides that then I can touch it and show it to you so this is the lavender one <sighs> that uh, oh I just oh in the tub or in the shower and then and then go to bed and smell like lavender is supposed to make you sleepy uh, I don't know which one to show you next I'll show you the leaf one next I got a little tiny um, embed mold of leaves. And so, first of all, I pour those and make those, and then I start building the soap. And so they're floating in clear soap, and their soap, of course, and on top of a white that has iridescent sparkle in it, which, without my glasses, I can't see. But I remember when I was making it, I had my glasses on and I could see. <laughs> so, and it's scented leaves, and that might be a bath and body works um, scent. I smell leaves or something like that there oh, a year or two ago because you know I live on an island and there's nothing here. There is an Ace Hardware store. That's the only chain of anything. But anyway, I love the smell of leaves and it's perfect for right now and it's perfect for this design. So um, that'll, those, that'll be on the Etsy site too. And then we get into my favorites. Let's see, I'm going to save my absolute favorite till last. But the Next favorite is, and I made a bunch of these. I did it in a loaf so I could slice them and have more. Because when I do them by the individual mold, they take forever. <laughs> and this way I can get about eight or nine um, slices. And this one is pumpkin cheesecake. And I did an orange swirl. And the loaf, I can, um, this loaf I can put in like an embossing mat. And so I have kind of a floral, not floral. What would you call it? I call it tapestry or something. And there's no way you could see it because it's got the plastic over it, of course. But So let me describe the scent. There's cinnamon, there's pumpkin, and there's cream cheese. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh. You're never going to want to get out of the shower with this one or stick it in your drawer and, and it'll just smell up your drawer. It's just fall. And even, even after Christmas, it's, you know, January, February. Well, it's still cold. This is just a nice, spicy warm yum and I, I love the way this each one's kind of a little different with the swirls then ta -da -da -da, is my favorite scent for fall winter is cinnamon sugar donut i thought there was pumpkin in it when i you know kept running it in my head because i got this just into it last year oh it's sugary sweeter than the cheesecake there's probably a 
tiny bit more cinnamon in this guy. The, oh, I can smell the cookie. The, I can feel the sugar, you know, on the outside of the cookie and you get it all around your mouth when you eat it. And I did the same kind of um, tapestry type of embossing on the top. And then I did, um, well, I tilted it when I poured so that I would get kind of wedge shapes of the fall color. So there's a bronze and orange and a, I think, yeah, I just it was just gold. These are, well, these are my fall soaps. And then the lavender could go all year round if I keep. If I keep busy making them. Anyway, so these are the soaps that were brought to you by today. And I don't have much else to talk about, except for maybe you want to know what's on my face. Because we love makeup, and that's how I started. So first off, let's do eyes. And I don't know which one I'm going to open first. I went fancy today because I needed it. We're in the big storm. Mom's over at her house. We're hoping that the power stays on. Um, a lady comes in twice a day for a couple hours each time and gets her lunch and dinner. And like I say, you know, I had her over for dinner last night, but it's too hard to move her. So um, we're hoping the electricity stays and the trees don't fall down. So husband has to drive around with the chainsaw. Okay, who cares? We're going on to the eyes. Um, on my lids, I did Burberry. And this one is Gold Trench. And so it's kind of a light tan, creamy color. Uh, it's, if you haven't saddle soaped your bridle yet, <laughs> mom lent her show bridle to somebody and they saddle soaped it and turned it dark. Didn't match her saddle anymore. She, um, we both rode saddle seats, so it's a um, flat and it's called a cutback, but Okay. Only the horsey people will know what that is. But anyway, that's the color of, of the saddle and the bridle before they cleaned it. Um, it's kind of like furniture, the old furniture. You don't want to restore it. Uh, let's see. So that was on the lid. And in the crease, well, of course, let's do another horse name. Here's Chestnut. <laughs> so that was the transition color. So I guess not crease, transition. But, uh, and for the crease... I wanted a little more pop, so or pizzazz, and so I put on um, dark sable and just did the outer V, kind of brought it in a little bit, and did, who knows if it's still on or not. And I used it to go underneath. So that was that. These are the dahlias. I've had my first frost, and it's kind of oh, especially the light colored ones. They kind of turn brown on the backs of their little petals and things, and. So they're not going to last too much longer. Okay, onto the more face. I broke down and got the Profond, P-R-O-F-O-P-R-O-F-O-N-D. So I think it's pronounced Profond or Profond, probably if you're French. But anyway, um, I, it it was the end of summer, but it was the greatest fall color. And now they've come out with oh, what is it called? Oh, shoot. Of course, I can't think of the name of it. But it's a bright pink that I would want, and I would want it in the summer, not now. This was a good fall color, and it goes well with my, somebody gave me, thank you, Chris, um, a uh, Chanel pencil, and it's uh, Sienna, I think. Yes, Sienna. And on one end is a brush, and on the other end, of course, is the pencil part. And so it's really dark. It's like Sienna. Burnt Sienna I used to paint with in acrylics. And that was pretty close, but it was more brown. Um, but I, you know, I had to do nice dress up for you guys. So I put on my um, Chanel Rouge Coco 430 Marie. And so that went on top of the... There they are. That went on top of the Sienna. And well, you can see it on my yap, but... Um, there it is, swatched on top of this sienna. I love this, and it feels so good. And then those are the colors I have on. And thank you so much for supporting JBS Farm. And I'm waiting for one lady to come back um, to finish up her order. I had some questions on it, and she didn't want me to ship it until the 15th, so it's been sitting here for a couple of weeks. Poor thing. But she's been gone, so it's safe. 
but I have a couple questions, and so um, check your email, please, <laughs> and, or actually the messages from Etsy, and um, then I'll get that wrapped up because I think tomorrow's the 15th, and so it's time to get ready to ship it to you. I don't know how consistent I'm going to be, but I am, I've got, oh, wait till you see, wait till you, I mean, I love these, wait till you see what I'm going to show you for Christmas. You're going to want those for presents. You're probably going to want them for yourself. They're a lot of work, so there's only... They're, they're limited edition. <laughs> anyway, so please don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you subscribe, and then we could chat through the, you know, the discussion down below, and I get to know you a little bit, and where you're from. I love finding out where you're from. So check out my store at, at, on Etsy, JBS Farms, with an S at the end. And um, I'll put the link below, too, how to get to there and find your secret Santa, and hostess gifts, and um, just little thank yous. Um, they're perfect gifts, even if you don't know the person like the Secret Santa thing, because everybody uses soap. And if they don't like it, they can put it in the powder room and their guests can enjoy it. So thank you for subscribing. I can't talk. Thank you for subscribing and joining me. And until next time, George and Copyright and I, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.